And society is changing news. I hope oh, it does. Society is changing changes. news. It always needs to change. You don't want it to stay the same. Well, I want it to I change do. for good. Like what parts of it? Like the 90s. I wish it was the 90s. But again. the 90s were a traumatic time for me, so let's move on. Oh. <laughs> Submitted by Hey <laughs> Bitch. Hey Bitch. JK News, JK News. No I, five H's. An opinion piece bitch. argues that heterosexuality is the foundation to men's societal dominance over women. I believe it. Wait, wait, say that again. God yeah. damn it. That was so deep. I don't know if an I An opinion piece that. argues that heterosexuality is the foundation to men's societal dominance over women. Dicks over chicks. Uh, it's whoa. not dicks over chicks, but. Dicks into chicks. Dicks above chicks. Okay, go on. Under chicks. All right, so this writer here, she wrote a think piece for NBC News. She must be a feminist. She titled it. I fucking hate that word. She titled it, Miley Cyrus's split with Liam Hemsworth isn't just celebrity gossip, it's a blow to the patriarchy. <gasps> Ooh. And so Take that. Says, Fuck the patriarchy. What's the patriarchy? <laughs> it's a. Uh, the men's the head of the household. Yeah, that's the patriarchy. I know, but like who. So who are these people that are like. If I want to put, point the camera at the person that is hurt. Of Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. The patriarchy pointed at the patriarchy. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Put it, put it. Where, 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 where? It's right there. It's middle aged white males. Because I think middle aged white males are like, I don't give a fuck who Miley Cyrus is dating. No, they got, they got hurt. hurt. Well, I got okay. the camera on there. saying that women like Cyrus are speaking out about sexuality in ways that put the power and responsibility back into their own hands. Yeah. So she's claiming that, um, so she says, quote, Men need heterosexuality to maintain their societal dominance over women. Women, on the other hand, are increasingly realizing not only that they don't need heterosexuality, but that it also is often the bedrock of their global oppression. So they're thinking that being gay is a preference, not, a, not you're not born with it? Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> Cause like, maybe it it's like lesbian. That. It sounds like that. <laughs> Cause you're born gay. So Which they're realizing that they can come out openly now and be like, I don't need no that's, man. Yeah, that's I don't think it's actually about like sexual orientation yeah. rather than the idea that heterosexuality being like the foundation of how yeah. we see yeah. women is the reason why like men usually always consistently. You're talking about like yeah. traditional yes. roles, gender yeah, roles. Exactly. More like gender Gender roles. roles. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. that's what it sounds like. I didn't think gender roles really exist for like a long time now. Really? They're, no, they I exist. Think they're like, but I think, it, it, I think gender roles changed within the decade, like dramatically. Here, maybe. Yeah. I think that, uh, well maybe socially, but maybe like California. biologically, like yeah. women are more drawn to being more nurturing. Like there's like some biological aspects that um, still the majority like kind of feel, even if outwardly in society, they're like, no, I don't have to do that. But then like inwardly, like, all of us have plants now in our 30s because we're taking care of something that's not a baby. Oh, you're talking about the innate need, right? So yeah. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that um, within the past decade, I feel like the traditional gender roles have been diverted so far off course where people don't realize how far it's gone compared to our parents and to our mm. grandparents, but they still think that there's these expectations that are old reminences of the of the past. So, and, and I just say this based off of anecdotal observation. I don't know if this is like the majority. Yeah, but I, I think in the middle of the, of the country, yeah. it's not so much the majority. But even in a traditional relationship, right? Like where you have a heterosexual man, wife, kid, whatever. I still think that is very far from what our parents and, and grandparents experienced. All right, so this writer here, she's bringing up Miley Cyrus split with Liam Hensworth because what ends up what ended up just happening right after Liam is that she started dating uh, Brody Jenner's ex-wife, and so they they ended up having some photos, some paparazzi photos. So this is Miley Cyrus with Liam, and then these other photos of Miley and that other girl in. Um, Caitlyn in Italy started surfacing and so like they're making out and like they've just been spending a lot of time together and so Miley ended up saying at one point that she doesn't associate men and protection and necessarily and that that's the reason why it's given her some more openness to her sexuality and then Julianne she ended up posting this on Twitter with a woman's health cover so she ends up talking about her marriage and how she said that she was able to 
decide. She that okay, so she's more open in her sexuality as well, but she's made the decision to stay married to her husband and because of that transparency they've had a better relationship. And so what the writer here is pointing out is that now women are um this, she says, quote, absconding from responsibility is the quintessential strategy of the patriarchy. It's how men stay in control and never lose power. Um, so now women are taking back that power by making the decision that just because we've been naturally like conditioned to, in order to be a woman and to fulfill as a fulfill your role as a real woman, we have to be in a heterosexual relationship and we have to create babies and like that's our main purpose. But now she's saying that that's. That's not like now women are are realizing that that's not all they live for. That's so crazy because um all the gay people that I know, they they tell me it's not a choice. Yeah. Like the minute that they were born, mm -hmm. starting when they knew there were guys or girls, they just are are already attracted to the same sex. Yeah. So for this lady to have an opinion piece about now they're choosing to be homosexual. It's like that's what I'm saying. It sounds almost anti-LGBT. So, the writer to me sounds like a misandrist, like a man hater, and it just really sounds like she's kind of being like, "Yeah, guys, you see Miley and Julianne. You see how they're not uh, giving into the patriarchy. Now we got to win for us." Like it just sounds like she's complaining and she's just trying to figure out how to like bring it back to her own narrative. So to me, I, reading this, it just made me think like. Girl, you got some man-hating issues. I don't know. You're like, you could be with the girl too. Ladies, let's get together. Yeah, that's what it's You don't have like. to be with that husband of yours. The writer has a point though, because if I was Miley, I would much rather have the new girlfriend than Liam Hemsworth. That new girl's way hotter. She is way hotter. That's true. Liam's pretty attractive. Liam's pretty attractive. Yeah, I'm with you, Nikki. <laughs> hey, the other girl's pretty hot too, so I, I, if I was Miley, I'd go with the girl. <laughs> and you don't have to suck dick anymore. I mean, Miley could have still been with <laughs> Liam and just run the house. You know, she could just still be the leader of their household. I like doing gay things with a girl. That would be heterosexual and matriarchal. You're a level-headed man. I don't like this generation of just like, fucking, be I hate all groups because, just because, like all guys are wrong because, all women are wrong because. And then you're labeled like so many different ways too, like you're Asian and you're this and you're. As an Asian American yeah. straight male who uh, is Cis up, male. yeah. yeah. Who voted for Obama. Yeah, I'd like to say <laughs> that, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Fuck that shit. So Julian, she was saying that she had suppressed a lot of what she had felt, like the natural thing you're saying. Yeah. She had always suppressed it. But so she was way, closeted gay? And then the way the, the writer's bringing it out is saying like, well, it's because of the patriarchy, that's why she suppressed it, right? So that's the think, think piece part. But then Julianne's saying, but now that I've delayered all the survival tactics I build up in my life, now I'm able to have a, like, she says that she's connecting to the woman inside that doesn't need anything versus the little girl that looked to her husband to protect her. So the part that I'm confused on is that it seems like they're tying two issue, like the protection issue with the sexual preference issue. Yeah. And I don't yeah. think- Sexual orientation. Yeah, and the sexual orientation issue. And I don't think that it's connected that way because protection issue, I think that's its own issue if you need to feel protected or not and then your sexual orientation, like, cause they make it seem like Miley Cyrus was with Liam Hemsworth, and then she was like, now that I'm exploring my bisexuality and more with another female, I don't feel I need protected anymore. And that's what it's leading to. And then now the opinions that, you know, the patriarchal like mentality is what's fucking it all up. You know what I mean? So. Uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think they are a little bit different. Yeah, well. and they're like being tied together, whereas like the women that I know that are confident that never feel like they needed protection from a man, it's a more individual thing, mm -hmm. and it's not even a... Uh, sexual. It's not even a sexual or yeah. biological yeah. thing, because I also know on the flip side, there are dudes that just couldn't wait to get married for that stability. Yeah. So in the same in the same lens of protection or stability or to have a quote unquote rock in their relationship, there's, there's more dependent individuals and independent individuals across the board. Mm -hmm. And I also think- Regardless uh, of gender. Yeah, regardless of gender or sexual orientation or any, there's just some people that are more dependent and some people are more independent. And yeah. I feel like people get into um, marriage and relationships for more of a primal and survival method than anything. And when you have money, you have the freedom to be a player. You have a freedom to be bisexual. You have all kinds of freedoms because you're not thinking about a partnership that you're building with someone out of necessity as well. 
because that is a survival mechanism. Apart, like there is the romantic aspect of it in the first world, but if you think about the concept of marriage, right? It's a, it's a contract you're getting into someone with to have a baby with. Mm. If you look at it, basics, to human survival the, the basics, the bloodline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the but but the idea of romance and love and then building a life and having a life partner and things like that that is a little bit of a privileged concept when you live in a middle class society or above. It's not the same for people that are in survival mode. So. In that aspect, it's like, yeah, there there might be a patriarchal society or something where if you think about the traditional relationship where the man goes to work and the woman stays at home and raises children, that's the contract that you're building because you want to build a family, you want to have mm-hmm. kids, and you have these prim- primal desires to do so. Well, I think, though, that school of thought, though, is still pretty prevalent, maybe not in California and, and Los Angeles specifically, because now we're more independent and... And and like the the 30s are the new 20s now, right? So women are like, well, wait, this is my body. I don't want like, I'm gonna do whatever I want with it, right? Um, but like my mom's generation is very much like that, where it's like you have to like I, I need protection from a man. Like my mom's thing with with her girls was always like, I'm gonna worry about you until I know you're married. So and does I'm she like, see Miley Cyrus breaking up with Liam Hemsworth and going, oh yeah? No, <laughs> because of the protection from a man. Because that's just an old school. Oh, so she's thought. like, you're fucking up. Yes. Go back to him. Yes. That's crazy. She doesn't that's think crazy. this bitch is so that's rich crazy. she could have ten bodyguards. Wait, who's saying she should go back? So it's, because she's it's part not, of the, I guess, patriarchal yes, mentality. It, which it's a good thing to her. Traditionally, it, it makes sense, right? So, so she can argue both sides of that coin of being like, dude, I fucking hated it. I didn't get, I didn't let, get to live my dreams. But that's just what I was taught. This is what makes sense. It's been happening for generations. Um, but it works in these other ways. So she can argue both sides of it. But for her, because she grew up in it and it was so prevalent in her in her lifetime, that when I moved out by myself, she stressed the fuck out. She's oh yeah, like, yeah. she's like, you don't have a man. Who yeah, you she's like, wait with? a minute, like, what, what do you like? I'm gonna worry about you, but I'm like, I'm stable. I have I have everything I need. I I have my own money. Like, I'm very independent. She's like, but still, you know. I'm like, well, what if I'm gay? What what are you gonna do then? She's like, I would still worry because you don't have the protection of a man. So I think it's I think that school of thought is still very prevalent. Outside of of us, is it like a, in, a, in a very like literal way, like um, somebody breaks into your house? Oh, uh, right? in all ways, yeah. Right. So it's literal and it's also uh, financial. Yes. And like even in a confident, like yeah, uh, because, Well, financial. Like I, I was watching this uh, what they explain documentary on Netflix, right? And they were talking about like why men usually make more money than women, and and that perspective came down to birth. It came back down to women bearing children, cause like let's say and taking uh, a leave. Let's say both of us, yeah, both of oh, us. You're yeah, talking about the gender right. gap. Exactly. I mean the wage gap. Wage yeah. gap. Yeah, yeah. But that that is that it's is totally difficult. kind of reflective of what keeps men in power sometimes. Like he was saying, like yeah. you know, or, or or financially being taken care of because of. But don't cam girls leave. make more money than cam boys? <laughs> but then their money stops. So if if we're looking at both cam girl and guy, right? Yeah. If she gets pregnant. She can still probably can, but she's gonna have to take at least three weeks off. But she's least. already making like tenfold of what the guy makes. Maybe, so she could take ten years. Those, I think in that particular like, industry, no, but concept, I think it costs the, the board. The concept is when a woman hits the th- in their thirties, right? Yeah. They go, oh shit, I have a fucking time bomb. Like I, I, I gotta have. I gotta pop a kid. So out they have to choose between: do I want to have a family and children, or do I want to be this fucking CEO? Yeah. Because I can't be both. Never, and it guys sucks. never have that. <laughs> yeah. Guys don't have it, yeah. and they that's why. Kids and they can still. Be CEOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that's why they're saying like the 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 if you look at statistically why there is a uh, gender pay gap. That's one of the biggest uh, uh, reasons why because you know they're like why aren't there more female CEOs? Well, that's because a lot of women want families and they want yeah. babies and they want things like that. So that's one point out of many points, which I think is related to the idea yeah. of like what protection by having a male figure. Yeah. But that's why I say, uh, I feel like it's uh, and all power to women doing whatever the fuck they want, yeah. especially in this yeah. country, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, but like, heterosexuality, where like a guy is able to provide that for a woman who may want a family, yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that like, as a patriarchal society, guys are always just trying to stay in power over women. Cause we all know that our ma- yeah. we all know that our yeah. moms fucking run the house. For sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they run the everything, they run the money, they fucking, teach the kids everything. Yeah. I just remember dad just fucking sitting there and, and watching <laughs> TV and singing all day and then working or whatever. 
Yeah. But like really the moms are control of everything or, or in that time frame Why is why is the the dad so to speak only the one working and making sure the bread is being you know brought is because he's doing it for the family not because he's like in this household, I'm in power. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like the dads actually have the least amount of power because it almost feels like the woman forced him to go. This is the only thing you could do right now. Go make some money. You gotta go make the money. You know what I mean? But but again, it's it's just perspective. Like I think Miley Cyrus can do that because she's like powerful and rich as fuck, yeah. right? But like I don't know if that necessarily. And the opinion is right for somebody to have that opinion. I just don't think it's like across the board. Yeah. Heterosexuality is the reason. Yeah. Right. You know or what I mean? Patriarchy. I don't think you just change it if you're because yeah. I like all day long I want dick. Like I'm never gonna want pussy. I'm sorry, I just can't. It's too wet. <laughs>